Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snokus. Today we're gonna continue on our Air Open Results campaign. Um, Swedish Independence, Mark II. So we are we are preparing for a war with Denmark here. Um, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna fabricate a claim here on uh, Norway through the spy network I built up in Denmark, their host, their premium primary partner in the union. I'm gonna claim on Faröna here. Faröna. Faröna. And um, that's that. Okay, so we can get a level 2 trader for half cost. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna take the prestige. Hmm, okay, so Austria just used their great power um, power, and broke the alliance between Milan and um, Ferrara. We lost an advisor, which is fine, it happens. Spy network, sure. Not great, but decent. So let's just uh, combine these armies. So now we have two armies that uh, uh, totally, um, if we sum them up, equal um, 18,000 men, which is gonna to just simply overrun the Danes. Hopefully, at least. That's the idea. Sheep mercenaries, sounds good. Level 5, level 6 even. Same as us. Great. And they don't have. Their tradition just give them legitimacy and chip durability, so that's not an issue with us for us. Poland is gonna have to wait a while. Livonian order is soon ready, and England's gonna wait a long while. Oh well, that's uh, that's fine. We can prepare. All right, I'm, I was gonna. That's not great. I forgot about this. If we. Um, that would be nice. Trade efficiently for 10 years when we finish this qu this uh, mission. That should help with our financial situation. Not that we're bleeding cash, but um, we're not exac exactly swimming in it either. Okay, so Scotland is a new rival. Is there anyone else we can attack? Everyone in order is allied with them. Could attack um, the Novgorod. Um, Nations, the le what's left in Finland mainly. Uh, also, maybe get Ingmarland so we can um, get a land bridge here into the Livonian order and down to Europe. But I think I'm gonna save the administrative uh, power that we have. I'm looking forward to this new hair. Air. And I'm. I think you only lose prestige when you abdicate, right? So I'm, I think I'm actually gonna do that as soon as you as uh, King Christoph turns 50, simply because um, the heir has some potential to develop some really good um, perks, which we're gonna, which we would like, and he also has a really good good, <coughs> good pip distribution. Okay, so that's a lot of these um, done. Let's get some administrative support. This is gonna take up in just a few months. Okay, let's lose some um, prestige, I guess. We could get some reputation or mercantilism or tax, which wouldn't hurt. But I'm gonna try to save up to um, stability, and if we can't get that, um, we're gonna get the taxes most likely. Gonna buff up our relationship there a bit. Whole lot of Swedish songs, Swedish songs going on in the. Uh, 
Let's go with some traditional music. I haven't heard that in a while. So our, um, our treasury is um, overflowing with cash. And I'm thinking maybe we should um, spend it. Holy shit, okay, maybe we should spend it in um, Nuttabori. We would get an enormous boost in uh, trade power. And with the combo of that, we... Actually, let's uh, let's save the money. I just realized we're gonna have, have um, the institution be able to us soon. Be adoptable. Just in five years we're gonna have small land and after that we're gonna get these two even faster and then that and then Stockholm finally. And after we've um, got all of those we can easily adopt, um, embrace even, uh, the renaissance. How is our dynastic chances looking in Poland? It's looking... Oh my crap. What the hell? All right, um, it's looking bleak. I don't know, we're the only one um, actually, increasing, actually increasing the chances right now. Um, but Saxony is still leading. Anyway, uh, okay, so aristocratic coup, coup they um, have more than 80 influence. How long is that, that gonna last? Diet held. It's gonna last 11 years, of course it is. Uh, and general ship is gonna last oh, just three years, so we might might be fine. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. So let's take this cheaper technology cost and uh, institution embracement cost. Should possibly have waited with this before I took um, this one. We're soon also gonna have a new military, but I'm gonna wait on that. On the off chance that we actually embrace the institution before we go to war. It's gonna finish in uh, four years. That's quite a lot of time still. How's the institution spread looking generally? Western and Central Europe's got it, except for Portugal and Castile. It's spreading some into the Mamluks, finally. Um, so they're gonna catch up pretty soon. They're almost better off than we are. The Ottomans already got it, so they, uh, they're more sophisticated than us, I guess. Is this Moscovy? Yep, Moscovy's got it, simply because of their high development there. We could spend some power in increasing our development. Um, which wouldn't be a terrible idea, I suppose, but um, actually, let's let's look at this. Missionary, perfect, perfect. Let's um, convert Karelia. Karelia. Okay, so let's look at Stockholm. Um, actually, we're we're gonna take this as soon as we can, but we're most likely gonna embrace the um, Renaissance before we do it, which means we're only gonna need. 600 power and we have 746 as of right now um, We're not gonna get this for a, quite a long time So we might as well spend a few points here Simply to speed up the embracement of the renaissance Viva la renaissance What I'm thinking is if we get this about 20 we actually get a further boost not much, but it's, it's something. So we need... Yep, yeah, let's keep it like that. That's great, and we also got a lot of manpower from that. 2000, even. Yeah, so that's... Gonna go be a lot quicker now. It's gonna be even quicker when uh, Småland and then Österjötland has adopted it, so we... Um, so it gets the adjacency, adjacency bonus. Bonus. 
bonus. Okay, so this is gonna take a hundred years, more even. Great. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of you. Okay, if only this could... Uh, This could develop faster. It's gonna take a few years more. We're uh, gaining the ranks at least, and we're looking worse here, <laughs> I suppose. All right, can we attack Denmark now? Poland still has war still has war exhaustion. The only order is in another war. England. Manpower. Okay. Who are you in war with? Novgorod and Hungary. You are with Moscovy, Pskov, and Livon in order. Alright. Holy hell, did the Teutons win against Poland? Alright. Did not see that coming. Should have kept my eyes open for that, but alright. January 82, so in a year and three months, which should be fine. They shouldn't be able to fire that for it before um, before that procs off. Another cardinal, cool. So now we have two. How is the reform looking? It's getting up there. Okay. We should possibly keep that in consideration. We don't want to be in war when... Um, I'm just gonna tank our prestige right now. Uh, we don't want to be in a war when um, uh, the cat Catholicism uh, reforms. See, because we want, um, we want to be one of the f first three uh, nations to adopt Protestantism. So that... We get get um, central reformation, so our whole nation reforms before uh, holy war breaks out. Sure. Okay. Let's sure. Let's thank our prestige even more. How are we looking? On um, we really don't we don't really need diplomatic points, do we? What we could do is give um, Skåne to them, and also no, yes, yes, Skåne. We should give them this as well. I shouldn't give them this to the clergy. That was short-sighted of me. Oh well. Um, now if we Still not enough, I guess. But if we do... Um, no. We're gonna have to give them another province. Let's give them... Um, the Färöarna. We can't, because it doesn't have enough development. Crap. That was stupid of me. Oh, crap. Could we... Take this from them. Good. Okay, so let's give it to the burgers. They want more, which we're gonna give them. You can have. Um, how about this place? Is that enough? That is not enough, but you can have another place. How about that? The downside to this. Um, Placement is if um, the clergy ever gets uh, dissatisfied, all of Finland is gonna revolt. But um, we're just gonna have to keep on their good side, I suppose. So let's get 100 diplo power and 75 ducats, which is a lot of ducats. That's nice. Okay, cool. We can do nothing more. 
Nevermore. Okay, so we lost our claim on Novgorod. We're fine. I'm not planning on attacking them right now anyway. Um, our air is leaving. How old is this guy? 54. Hopefully he dies soon. Our guy is... 56 year old, so our guy is older. <laughs> Great. So there's a chance our guy dies before their does. And then we're in the pooper. Okay, uh, Denmark isn't... Oh, crap. Hell. So let's... Uh, and now we have to um, claim on Mecklenburg instead. Um, also, this guy is gonna be um, a bit more powerful than um, uh, Pomerania, simply because they have another province. Of course, they just uh, conquered these areas, so they're gonna not gonna be as good um, because of the high um, what's it called autonomy. The Chonic Order is pirating in the Lübeck trade now. That's uh, interesting. Can we please, please attack Denmark? Okay, and we lost our amazing general. Great. Why won't you accept? We got the trust, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, we got we got more than trust here. So if we if we do that, we we could get them in the war without a doubt. And I'm guessing manpower is the reason that England won't join. Uh, yep. No, actually, no reason at all. That's great. How do we have a name? No, we don't. Okay. What we could do, we could get um, diplomatic uh, reputation guy um, or bonus here from the Holy See. Uh, and then possibly we could convince them to join in our war. We really only need one of them, anyway. Okay, so we can adopt it now. I think we're gonna wait a while. We don't have any text we're gonna, on the brink of passing. We, of course, military tech, but it doesn't seem like we're gonna attack Denmark anytime soon anyway. Possible advisors, suppose. But that doesn't really give us anything, and I think saving the power, the power points for um, our future conquest is the smarter choice right now. Which is this? Toastland. So let's go with... Any really? really? So uh, manpower. Got a little bit more there. Uh, we actually need another commander, I seem to remember. Can't do this th it this way. Actually, we could just, well, just merge these guys right now. But I am curious, how would this guy be decent? All right. Our missionary is churning on here in Karelia. Soon it's gonna... Sooner, soon. Um, in a while, in 87. In Three years is gonna be done. Military power, thanks, thanks. Sure, you can gain some influence. Doesn't bother me. Okay. And we have enough to to do this. Great. Let's fabricate on well we should look which one is best first. Rostock, I suppose, then. And by doing that, we can then take Pomerania, unless... No, we can't, actually. Um, the smarter choice would be to go for Griswold. Even though Pomeranian separatists are after it. Um, because then we can expand into the Teutonic Order and have a foothold when we attack. So I'm gonna take, go for Griswold. Thank you, thank you. Um, so then we can go do away with that. 
then we can first up our anti, up our military spending, have our troops ready to, for war. We can also move our fleet. Since, since we have another uh, leader spot, let's do this to, uh, to maneuver. That's pretty good, actually. Or decent, at least. Um, let's adopt before we do it. I know I'm a bit cheap, but I want to make sure that none of our two years, which oh, crap. All right, let's let's do it. It's a waste of money, I know, but um, we need the tech. All right, and then we can um, go for it. Just gonna wait a few months to get our uh, mor morale up. Now that those two um, extra um, cavalry seems a bit redundant when we've merged the two armies. Oh well, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger here. In the next episode, we're gonna declare on Denmark. But before we do that, I'm gonna end the episode here and um, Hopefully I'll see you next time. Please leave a like if you liked this video and please consider subscribing. Have a nice day. Bye.